Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Today's topic is, what would you tell your 19 year old self today about dating and relationships? Well, my number one thing would be, bad boys and hot, high maintenance women will fuck you up for a long time to come. Because lustful sex will always keep you in an addictive state of wanting that forbidden fruit more and more. When that's the way you start out your life when you're really young, that's what you know. So you keep going back for more of the same stuff that just messes with your head, messes with your loins, your heart, everything. So that would be my first thing that I would tell you to avoid at all costs. So number two, I would tell you to have a purpose in your life that you're passionate about before you allow yourself to be in a committed romantic partnership. Many of us fall in love at a very early age and that's one of the hardest breakups or the hardest things to go through is our first love. But your first love should be your career, your goals in life, your aspirations, all those things that are going to sustain you for a long time. When you're young, people come and go. Yes, it's the odd time you get married at a young age and it lasts forever. But I mean, think back to, you know, even back when you were in early school, are all your friends still the same? Do you still have the same sort of excitement over maybe an early boyfriend or girlfriend? We all evolve and change, but the best thing you can do so that you don't make some choices that are a little questionable too early in life is to make sure that your career goals are first and foremost out there. Because regardless of what relationship you end up in down the road, if you're passionate about what you do and what you've chosen to do in your life as a business or career, that will keep you happy for a very long time. Number three, a playful confidence is your most attractive feature. Your looks are a very short part of that part of your life. They're not as big as you think they are. And when you're kind, you're fun, you're exciting to be around, you've got things to say because you're super confident, that's going to sustain you for a long time down the road. And don't worry so much about whether you're a size two, a size six, or you're a guy at the gym and you got big guns and all the other stuff that goes on because that superficial, attractive stuff that we are all spending so much money on today is great for a few years but it's not something that's going to be there forever. It fades, but your confidence and your personality will always outlive that. So don't place so much importance on having to look Instagram perfect, okay? We all wanna look our best at every age. I still work hard to look my best, but you don't make it your everything. Number four, listen to your gut with everyone you date. If you have any bad vibes at all about anybody you're sitting with, having a coffee with, out at a movie with, whatever, do not see them again. Because if you continue to not listen to your instincts and, and, and ignore what's going on within, you know, your body knows, your mind knows what's happening. If you're ignoring that on a regular basis, you're going to keep attracting the same wrong people towards you. Dating is there for a reason. It's to make you move up the stepping stone to find somebody that you're compatible with, someone you have fun with. You don't have to put yourself into situations that cause you drama or toxic, toxic stuff going on all the time or, or you're feeling like your self-worth is being attacked by somebody because they aren't kind to you and they talk down to you. Listen to the first date and everything that goes on within that date because that will guide you to better and better and better scenarios. Number five, live alone at least once in your life. You have to get to know who you are before you bring anybody else into your world. If you don't know who you are, you're not comfortable in your own skin, you're gonna be always looking for it with somebody else that you're bringing into your life. If you can spend time alone and enjoy your own company, you're going to be so much further ahead because you're, you're going to be walking down the street and feeling good about being by yourself and looking at other things other than just the person that's with you. you. You see so much more when you're comfortable with who you are by yourself. You really truly do. 
being a flight attendant was good for me because even though I had a crew with me a lot, I didn't always do things with the crew. I lived alone by myself for about six years from the age of 19 onward. I dated a lot, but I really got to know who I was. It's very cool understanding that and feeling okay about being in a room just with you. There's something very, very in encouraging and enlightening about that. It makes you feel like you're, you're a whole person and you don't have to be somebody's girlfriend or somebody's boyfriend. And it gives you more time to be able to concentrate on your future, your career, all sorts of things. So I really stress living on your own without a roommate, not staying at home until you're 35. <laughs> I know things are tough out there right now financially, but they were for me too and I managed to make it happen. So don't sit there and rely on other people to make you who you want to be. You have to rely on yourself. So thanks for listening to the older woman here today. These things really do work and I can't stress enough about getting to know who you are as an individual before you allow somebody else to come into your love life, your, your world, and you give yourself to them without understanding who you are. Your values are very, very important. And so is your self-esteem, your self-worth, and your confidence. So learn to love who you are and learn to be comfortable in your own skin and your world will be amazing. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. Take care.